Welcome back, everybody, to Altcoin Daily. In just a minute, I want to get to some recent cryptocurrency news, including Italian Bank has opened Bitcoin trading to its 1.2 million people during lockdown. Stay tuned for that. Before we get into it, I do want to talk about the hellish reality that I'm living in right now and the escalating draconian measures that are being taken in the city that I live in Los Angeles, California, in the guise of public safety. It has gotten to the point that if I get caught out in public, except when absolutely necessary, I could be charged with a fine of $1,000 or up to six months in prison just, just for walking in the streets. First of all, I want to preface this by saying one thing, and that is that this virus is very, very serious. My brother and I, our immediate family, we are in full isolation mode. I don't leave my apartment. I don't go places. You know, not, not that there's any place to go, right? Everything is shut down in Los Angeles. And the fact is, I know people who have been infected by this. And if you know people who are infected, you know that in many cases, they're not doing that well because this virus spreads silently and this virus spreads rapidly. And to go further, California is one of the most infected states right now with one of the highest rates of confirmed cases in the country. It is second only to Washington and only to New York. And the most, the, the scariest thing is just how fast this thing spreads. To put it in perspective, New York City, New York City has had more confirmed cases today than all of the United States just two days ago. In America, the virus is spreading faster than it's spread in Italy at this point. You can see that here. Unfortunately, that means for me, among other things, that work has dried up. The only form of income that I have right now, and probably for the next month at least, are, are making these videos. And the only thing I ask of you, if you want to support me or, or you want to support the channel, is to like this video, and maybe share this video. And that's the only thing I ask of you. Look, we talked about life in lockdown a lot in our live stream from the other day. So if you haven't watched this live stream yet, make sure you do it. What I failed to mention in our live stream from the other day is this. All Californians, nearly 40 million people, have been ordered to stay home to stop the spread of this pandemic. Governor Gavin Newsom says this is a moment where we need some straight talk. We need to tell people the truth. We need to bend the curve in the state of California. Let's find out some details. All Californians, nearly 40 million people, have been ordered to stay at home except when it is absolutely necessary for them to leave this is until further notice to help spread, to help slow the spread of the novel pandemic. This is a moment we need to make tough decisions, the, the governor said. The state's order takes effect immediately and will be in place indefinitely, with Newsom telling reporters that officials could not give a deadline that we could believe in. This is a dynamic situation, he said. The Los Angeles order, which will stay in effect until at least April 19th, requires all businesses, including museums, malls, retail stores, workplaces, to stop operations and only allow people to leave their homes for essential activities, like to pick up food, go to the doctor, or take a walk in the neighborhood. We've already radically changed how we live in Los Angeles, the mayor said during a press briefing. We need to be painfully honest tonight that we're about to enter into a new way of living here. The state's order, which does not have a set end date, includes exemptions for public safety and healthcare operations as well as other essential services, including laundry, grocery stores, restaurants for only takeout or delivery, but even those essential businesses will need to incorporate social distancing practices, keeping six feet of space between individual employees and customers, officials said. This is not shelter in place like school shootings. This is stay at home because you're much safer at home, Garcetti said. This is not a request. 
This is an order. Under state law, violations of this order are punishable by a fine of up to $1,000 or by imprisonment for no more than six months. Recent studies have shown that measures the country is taking could potentially result in tens of thousands of fewer people getting infected over a shorter period of time. However, she noted that it's harder to predict how long it will take to see enough of a reduction in the rate of transmission to the point where officials could relax some of the restrictions. The point, she explained, is to, is to slow the rate of transmission so as not to overwhelm the healthcare system with a large peak in the number of people who are sick. I think we have a wonderful healthcare system, but the best way to keep it highly functional is to actually make sure we don't see that peak of tens of thousands of people that all need care at the exact same time. And there you have it. We have been ordered to stay inside um, or else we could pay a fine of $1,000 or six months in jail. Now, the governor did say that they have no plans to enforce this draconian order. But still, isn't this the first step if they were to enforce it? Give up some freedoms, keep your health and safety. What do you guys think about all this? I know some of our audience lives in California. I know some of our audience lives in New York or in Europe or in Australia. What do you think about this order? order specifically and what's your plan and what do you think is going to happen let me know in the comments below i'll be responding now even in times of crisis we're seeing really good things if you hold bitcoin this is real the italian bank has just opened up bitcoin trading to its 1.2 million people during the lockdown they're doing this because they're trying to figure out any way possible to keep people away from each other Growing crypto adoption plus the outbreak has encouraged Italy's Banco Sella to launch a Bitcoin trading service. The trading is conducted via the bank's Hype platform, with the bank acting as an intermediary to mitigate against potential security risks with crypto exchanges. With the country in lockdown and everybody stuck at home, the bank is capitalizing on a growing interest in Bitcoin as a safe way to transfer money internationally in the midst of a crisis. 1.2 million Italians already use Hype. About 1.2 million Italians already use Banca Stella's Hype to carry out transactions. And not only will they be able to buy and sell Bitcoin, they'll also be able to pay for goods and services with the cryptocurrency. The general manager at Hype said, the cryptocurrency and Bitcoin market continues to arouse interest, especially among the public that constitutes our customer base by definition, young and smart, and who increasingly expect to be able to access this world through the, through the tool that they use to manage money on a daily basis. Interest in cryptocurrency and blockchain has received a boost in recent months among Italian institutions. Blockchain technology was applied to electronic voting in Naples, and two Italian high schools last week announced that they would record diplomas on the blockchain. Other Italian startups joining the National Crypto Boost. Milan-based Conio, Conio also announced that they will offer additional Bitcoin wallet on the Hype platform, along with buying and selling and safe custody of digital assets. The service clarifies that they do not need additional documents or know your customer requirements to be able to carry out any Bitcoin-related activities. So because the country is in lockdown, because there's already an interest, Italy is regulating use of Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. Um, everything I mentioned in this article, you can see that you know the bank or whatever is stepping in as a, a third party intermediary. Obviously people don't need to use them to transact with Bitcoin. What's good is that in one way, they're recognizing the value, one value that Bitcoin has, also, what's good is that they're regulating this because if they regulate it, they're not going to ban it. It's just going to be part of life. And people, institutions, other people are going to recognize, well, I don't want to invest if this might be banned. Oh, it's not being banned. It's being regulated. Oh, okay. This might have a future. Thank you guys very much. My name is Aaron at Altcoin Daily. Um, stay tuned to this channel because we bring you daily information on exactly what is happening in the world and how it relates to Bitcoin and crypto. And I am still very much bullish. See you tomorrow.